Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for Mr. B Cooks. It's a new episode, and today we're going to be doing another slow cooker Chex mix. But this time we're doing a little more traditional. This one kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. My mom would put them on a sheet pan and cook them in the oven. We're going to do it in a slow cooker, so let's just jump right in here. In my slow cooker, I already have one cup of wheat thins. I'm using the original wheat thins. Use whatever you like. I'm also going to be using corn, wheat, and rice checks. You can use the generics if you like. And then I'm using pretzel sticks. Use whatever brand you like. Two cups each for the checks in. So there's two. And then the last one. Okay. So that's six cups of checks in total. One cup of wheat thins and two cups of the pretzels. That's it for the dry stuff. In my Pyrex, I have two sticks of melted butter. It's about one cup, as you can see. And then I've put together a mix of uh, fresh thyme and fresh rosemary, uh, plus a pinch of uh, onion salt and garlic powder. Uh, you'll get the measurements in the uh, recipe below. I'm just gonna drizzle this over. You can see all the nice fresh herbs in there. And I call this my herb check mix. Herbed checks mix. Wow, so that can come fast. Give it a stir. Just trying to get these loosened up and combined and coated. Um, once you got that mixed up, you're gonna go three hours on low. We'll see you in three. All right, it's been about three hours, so let's check out our herbed checks mix and see how we're looking. Now, I did stir this a little bit uh, just to make sure that we're getting everything coated. You can see that I did get most of the stuff up, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a quick bowl full. And let's take a taste. This is going to be piping hot coming out of the slow cooker, but... Whew. Yeah, it's good. You get the taste of the herbs and uh, you get a little bit of that buttery taste. It's delicious. Uh, great for your next gathering, so give this a shot. Again, you do want to stir it a little bit just to make sure that you don't burn anything, because if you got it sitting on the bottom, they will burn a little bit. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, comments down below. Let me know what your variations on checkbooks are, and take care.